So here's how we're testing latency. We have a camera pointed at this monitor. On the right hand side is our web browser with a tab open to an online stopwatch. On the left hand side is our VMS with the, the camera being displayed. So if you think about it, on the right hand side it's capturing that video live. On the left hand side this is video that's been compressed, sent over the network, recorded and displayed on the VMS. So let's start the stopwatch right now and we'll show you what's going on. Now you may be able to look quickly back and forth, you can see there's a slight difference between them. We're going to hit stop now. Now you'll notice that they're the same times. The reason is it catches up, right? Because it's only a fraction of a second different in this case. For you to be able to figure out exactly what the difference is, you're going to have to switch to recorded video. Now we have a clip here that we're going to pull up just to show you an example of this. So this shows you on the, again, the right hand side is the live video with 7.3 seconds. The recorded video on the VMS, uh, 7 seconds. So that's the difference, right? So it's 300 milliseconds difference between the two. Um, and of of course, the amount of latency is going to be varied. It's not always going to be 300 milliseconds. It depends on the camera, the processor, the network, the location, you know, many other things. But this at least gives you the sense of the process to use in doing this type of test. Thank you.